hey guys what's up what's good it's your girl Shakira welcome or welcome back to my channel now in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how I created this beautiful Bob crochet butterfly locks it was my first time trying it so if you guys are interested in seeing how I did it then keep on watching Okay guys, so I'm starting on freshly washed hair. My hair is already moisturized and detangled. So I'm just going in with my oil concoction. This is just a mixture of my favorite oils. Um, so I'm just making sure I moisturize my hair and really making sure I get the ends because this is a hair that I'm going to be keeping in for a while. Okay, so now I am parting my hair into two sections from ear to ear because I'm going to crochet the back of my head and the front I'm going to do it like individuals. So for the back of my head I am going to be creating some horizontal cornrows because I feel like those hide the tracks a lot easier than the vertical one. For this first section I'm only going to be doing one cornrow. So for the second row, I'm going to be parting it down in the middle to separate it into two sections as I'm going to be creating two cornrows. These cornrows, I'm going to be braiding them from end and they're both going to meet each other in the middle point just like you would if you were creating a mohawk. I'm also going to make sure I braid my hair all the way down to the end like I did for the first cornrow because this is a protective hairstyle that I'm going to keep in my hair for a while so I want to make sure my ends are protected. While I'm braiding the following corner, I'm going to make sure I plait in the ends of the previous one. I am just going to continue doing that until I get to the top of my head this way i don't have to deal with a lot of loose ends when i'm finished in terms of like sewing them down braiding them down or even crocheting them down so now i am at the last two sections the section at the very top i'm going to be doing some individuals to give that illusion in the back and the section right underneath it I'm going to be doing some cornrows and I'm going to braid in the individuals into that cornrow and for the loose hair I am just using my hands to tuck them underneath the space that I have in the middle where I created the part um, if your hair is longer than mine you might have to sew them down my hair is short so I have no issue I'm just using my hands to tuck them as neat as I possibly can for the front, I am just going to be patting out some box braid sections, not too big, not too small. And honestly, I actually did these a little smaller than I wanted to originally, but it's fine. And I am just going in with beeswax to help me clean up my part a bit. If this was a quick and easy hairstyle, I would have been using my Eco Styler Gel, Edge Control or even like the Shine and Jam. They do a way better job in terms of cleaning up the part. But this is a hairstyle that I'm going to keep in my hair for a while like I've said before. So I'm going in with the beeswax because it is better for the health of my hair. I am just going back in with my oil concoction this is just a mixture of my favorite oils so I'm just going in with that to take care of my scalp make sure it is moisturized and ready to be protected so now that my hair is all braided up I'm going to be using my mannequin head to assist me in creating the butterfly locks 
the mannequin head came with some pins or I think they call them needles and I'm using these needles to help me keep the loop open and to the size that I want it. You have to make sure the loop is big enough to be installed onto your cornrows. Okay, so I'm using these pins to make sure the loop is nice and as big as I want it to be. Um, I'm now using my passion twist here as the base and I'm using spring twist to wrap around the passion twist I am just twisting up the passion twist not all the way down just enough so that the loop stays in place and I am taking the spring twist and I'm wrapping it around the passion twist while I'm wrapping the hair while I'm wrapping the spring twist around the passion twist I am using my thumb at random just to keep some of the hair out or to tease it a bit to give it that bohemian or butterfly lock effect. I have already done one off camera that I have measured um, to the length that I want it to be for that particular row. So I'm just using that as a guide for the rest butterfly locks that is going to be on that same row. When I'm finished cutting it to the length that I want it to be, I'm just going to continue wrapping the spring twist around the passion twist till I get to the end. You can add more spring twist if you need because when you get to longer length, you will need to add more um, spring twist. But because this is the back of my head, I didn't need to. But when I get to the very bottom, whatever spring twist is left, I'm just going to wrap it in the opposite way so I'm wrapping coming down at first and when I get to the very bottom where I have more spring twists I'm just going to wrap those back up as a way to seal the lock. When I am finished creating my butterfly locks I'm just going to take my crochet needle to install them onto the cornrows um, and I have multiple videos on this channel showing you guys in depth how to crochet it's very easy i'm just going to take the crochet needle i'm going to push it underneath the corner where i want the butterfly locks to be um, the loop that we already created while creating our butterfly locks i'm going to hook that onto the crochet needle and pull it through and then i'm going to hook the bottom of the crochet onto the pin or you can just use your fingers you don't have to use your pin um, for the rest of the steps you can just use your fingers open the loop and then push the end of the butterfly locks through that loop to seal it or install it onto the cornrows I'm just going to continue these steps until I'm finished with the back of my head. In the front, I'm not going to be using the mannequin head because the installation is going to be different. We want the individuals to have like a knotless look. So the installation is going to be different, but the way we made the butterfly lock is going to be the same. Okay guys, so the hair that I am using for this hairstyle is the Tiana Passion Twist hair that I've already installed in my head in a previous hairstyle. So this is reused hair guys. For the base of the butterfly lock, I honestly do not feel like you need to be purchasing hair if you already have hair lying around. So if you have Molly hair, if you have regular braiding hair, it will work. Um, so you can use basically anything as long as your hair is not long and thick enough um, or you're going to do a crochet method like I am doing in this video. So for the knotless look, I'm going to be crocheting my base here, in my case my passion twist in one direction, so like a vertical direction and the spring twist which is the wrapping hair, I'm going to do it in a different direction which is like horizontal. And because I've already braided up my hair in the front into box braid, um, this hair is not going to go anywhere so I'm not twisting the passion twist tongue or anything like that. I'm just leaving it loose and I'm wrapping the spring twist around the passion twist in the same way we did when it was on the mannequin head. So the spring twist that I'm using for this hairstyle is hair that was left over from a previous hairstyle. They are new but because they are left over here, I do not have the packaging to show you guys but everything that I'm using will be in the description bar below so that you guys can purchase if you like. So 
so this is the final look guys i really hope you like it comment down below and let me know how you think i did for someone who's trying it for the first time don't forget to give me a big thumbs up if you like this video comment in the comment section and let me know what other hairstyles you would like to see me do or what other video content you would like to see me do here on this channel also share this video with anyone who you think will benefit from this content once again thank you guys so 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 much for watching always remember to live love and respect bye guys